Hey everybody. Well, today's the day. I finally took the plunge and decided to put some graphics on the side of the boat. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've already got all the decals all prepped and ready to go. I didn't want to bore you with all the details of designing it and cutting it and weeding it and taping it all up. So I spared you guys the, the tediousness of all that. I was thinking of going with the vehicle wrap, like a wrapping the sides all the way down, but this is a very uh, rugged boat. Uh, it's, you know, it, get, it gets up into the sand and hits logs and things like that and boat wraps will get damaged. So they're really expensive, but you gotta, you gotta be really careful if you wanna preserve a boat wrap. So, I, and besides, I didn't really wanna spend the money because the way that this is set up, I would have to, I would have to print these sides um, twice. So, and, and then all this extra vinyl from here on up would get wasted. So, because of the width of the boat, well, the height, excuse me, because of the height of the the hull, um, I couldn't group them together in one go. It had been, it would have had to been printed twice. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up. I've already washed it. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get it, the edges and stuff cleaned up with a bit of alcohol and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, cool. Well, two things I'm concerned about on each side that I'm worried about is the, the fender and these uprights. These uprights stick up out of the water so you can guide your boat into the bunks. Um, but I think that this isn't gonna pose too much of a problem. This guy, the fender, is gonna be a little bit more challenging because I gotta start here, and then I gotta work my way down and behind there, so. Um, we'll see how it goes. Luckily, I uh, made the graphics, like, distressed, so if stuff gets scratched, it's not gonna be noticed, you know, so. Let's try the first one. I believe it's gonna go exactly flat up against this edge right here, so. Scissor out this vinyl here. I've got each one of these little graphics marked in which order. All right. The one thing about this industry that I've always disliked is the amount of waste it creates. Yeah, I'm good at it, but at the same time, it's like, it always kind of hurts a little bit because I'm throwing so much paper away. So, anyway, let's peel off a little piece like this just, just to get it exposed. Fold it over. Let's go ahead and line it up. See how well it looks. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. But the first one is pretty much critical, so. Okay, so the first one is all right. What I uh, am noticing though is that some of the paint wants to peel off. So it's gonna be a little challenging getting this all on the boat without pulling a bunch of paint off. It, it is an older boat, so, but it's my boat and I don't have to worry about all that. So I don't have to explain to the client saying, well, I can't really stick your graphics on because the paint's coming off your boat. So, all right, cool. I'll go ahead and start finishing this all out, but uh, it looks like it's gonna go on okay. So I'm not too, too concerned. Let's get started on the rest of it.
I think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna add another piece to this section right here because you never really can tell until you really start getting into it what you're gonna need. But uh, I think it looks fantastic. Here, come check this out. So some of the areas I noticed that, like I was saying before, paint like to come off. But uh, that's okay because it's just gonna, it's just gonna, you know, distress the even more, you know what I mean? So it's like all this, this whole design is basically set up to be damaged and not be noticeable. So when I run up against a log or something and it scratches it, it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be a deal breaker, it's not gonna be critical. Cause I've wrapped boats before in the past and uh, have guys run into the dock or something and and uh, then come back and says, hey man, your wrap is coming off, look. And then it's like, dude, no, you ran into the dock. And you know, that we can't warranty, you know, abuse. So I can patch it, but I'm not re-wrapping the whole boat for nothing. You're, you're out of your mind. Then they get mad and they leave, so, but it's okay. You know, that's the nature of the game. You just you can't let people push you around, you know? So, but yeah, no, I think it looks cool. I think it looks real cool. I'm gonna start the other side. This is probably just the, the only spot that uh, is gonna be really tight. Cause I'm right up against the gate. And, and uh, once I get past this fender, everything's good. But um, I pulled the boat out of the carport in order to give myself some room to move around it because I got all those poles and things. And I figured it'd be easier just to pull it all the way out here than to struggle with my bushes over there. and. Um, you know go around the fence and things like that so yeah but this is uh going really well so it's taken me about mm, 20 25 minutes uh for that other side so it wasn't too bad at all so really once everything is weeded taped and um you know prepared this this project really is only about an hour Fly through this. You know what's really cool about this uh, design is if I ever decide to paint the boat, um, I leave the stickers on and I'll paint it all up, and then uh, and then I could go about and um, you know remove all those stickers like a template, and it'll be a different color underneath. So, but you don't want to wait too long with some of these type of graphics because they'll really adhere to the to the surface and become kind of difficult to remove. So there's lots of lots of cool things going on. Um, I've got a bunch of really large projects on the go, and uh, I'm hoping to get some free time to get the boat back in the water. But uh, last time I was out it was just a uh, just uh, last week. I didn't film it or anything. It was for one of my Patreons, uh, one of my loyal Patreons. Um, it was a little, you know, little fishing trip for, for uh, one of my loyal, one of my most loyal fans. So that was a really good time. Um, didn't catch anything or anything, but uh, I uh, struck a rock with my prop, so um, that's all dinged up. So I ordered a new prop. It should be coming in the mail um, sometime early. Hopefully before Easter Sunday, but I'm not holding my breath. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll get this baby back in the water as soon as I have All right. Well, let's fly through this, huh?
there it is, the first part. I'm probably still going to add a piece of in the front here. But uh, looking at the reference photo, I was looking at it upside down. So like the first half or the center part was act is actually upside down. So I'm like, eh, but nobody can tell except me. All right, let me, let me go ahead and pull off all this uh, transfer tape and uh, we'll see how this looks. down to my last pieces here biggest problem I've been having is the vinyl not sticking up, up underneath this rib here but uh had this been a client's boat um, I'd be taking you know much, much more uh, stringent precautions and I'd be measuring everything I wouldn't be cutting on the boat like this you know uh, there's a lot of little things that I would be doing differently had this belonged to somebody else since it's mine, I don't mind. You know, I, it's it's all good. It's gonna stick down. It's gonna be cool. I was saying before, uh, I got to working on this end over here, and uh, I was looking at the photograph upside down, and I was like, hmm. I didn't notice until it was like until I started getting to the the front portions of the boat. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. But I also say that, you know, it's, it's fine because no, nobody's ever going to notice that except me. And, uh, but yeah, there it is. It's all the way down. I got a couple pieces I want to supplement areas on, but, uh, you know, this, this thing turned out fantastic. I'm loving it. So I'm going to go around and, you know, stick vinyl down, make sure that nothing's peeling up and, um, you know, making sure stuff is, you know, adhered well and, and, uh, What's really cool is that the sun is beating down on it, so it's really hot, so it's going to stick really, really good. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. Let's take a look. I said I'm going to get a, a supplemental piece right there. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I'm not even complaining about that section right there that's upside down. I can't even tell. And it's my design. So, not only did I design this from scratch, I've cut it with my own machine. I've weeded and taped it on my own tom. So this is 100% me. This is this is all Jungle J right here. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. Probably gonna, I'm probably going to drive around town with it and let people go, Oh, check out that boat. That's cool. <laughs> Sorry about the air conditioner running, but it's like 95 degrees out there today, and uh, and this little room gets really, really hot. So I would rather have a little bit of noise than suffer. So, but I wanted to show you here. I want this is the program that I use. It's actually an old program that I've had for probably 18 years, and uh, and I have to run it on an older system. But that older system not only runs this software, but it also runs this ancient plotter and this is a rolling plotter and those guys hate me because I keep this thing running they want me to buy a new one and I'm like why would I do that when this works perfectly fine I don't know what the deal is so anyways I'm gonna pick out a couple of spots here and I'm gonna build those supplemental pieces for the front so I'm thinking about taking out some of these guys so this is this is the original that I worked on and then I measured the boat so I didn't do all these measurements in between. I just eyeballed everything, and that's why nothing really, you know, came from from the end to the front without without uh, lining up exactly properly. I didn't I didn't really measure anything. Now, had that been a client, I would measure everything. So let's go ahead and find the the big piece. Okay, we want to supplement those pieces off the bow there. So we're gonna take we're gonna take this guy here copy it and there's a couple other pieces in there we can use too so I'm not too concerned about all that so let's make a copy let's mirror it flip it over okay 
And we can see that it's 12 by 19, so we'll go ahead and throw it to the plotter here. All right. So we'll hit the plot, plot button. Fits fine. And yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it. But really, that's all I'm going to need for this whole project. So, awesome. We'll fix that here in a little bit. So I got the supplemental piece here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this baby on. Mm -hmm. Peeled off real nice. Stick it way up in there like that. So what we got to do there. Get into that corner. Pull it around the bottom. Boom. Oh, cool. Got my knife. not really worried about anything up here because I'm cutting most of that off because I don't want to obscure my FL numbers. The other thing looks pretty good, huh? Let's see, it doesn't really matter if it's let's see, clean that little corner up a little bit there. Yeah, that's a little better. Cool, man. Yeah, that supplemental piece will do all right, I guess. You know, it doesn't really matter if it's a bigger gap or not. You know, everything's in there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's probably gonna fit a little bit better because um. This gap here isn't as wide, but awesome. Right, as you can see, this gap is <laughs> a lot different than the other side. So let me put this away here. So, since I want that di distressed look, I'm not going to go to a, you know, to a terminus point like like that piece. I'm probably just going to. Line it up with the bottom of the number, because I like all this, all these scratches and stuff. And if I try to go for, if I try to go for, you know, the, just getting the point to fit in here, then I miss all this really good detail. something with these guys. Cool. Down here is a couple little sections I wanted to take care of. Um, shouldn't be too difficult here. Good, uh, only with this. Over this dress. So this boat is pretty much done. I'm really pleased with the results. And um, if I was to do this for somebody, the cost of a boat like this should be between, you know, five to 700 bucks, depending on what you want done. Like this is intermediate vinyl. So it's not like, it's not like it's a wrap vinyl. It's not like a, you know, top tier. This is like middle of the road. And this is all I needed for this particular job. This is good vinyl, but it's not like it's not like as um, um, 
super expensive, you know, vehicle wrap on also. The, uh, but if you uh, ever want to get a boat like this, I mean, you're, you know, done like this, you got to expect to pay some money. But anyway, yeah, awesome. Well, I think this boat's done, man. And uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, it was a lot of fun. I got it done very quickly, a lot faster than I thought it would. So I think I'm going to toot around town with it in, in tow to make people jealous. <laughs> nah, but still. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all very much. Thank you for watching. 